All right, guys, welcome to the channel. We're in Birmingham, Ohio, and we're at the Birmingham Cemetery. And boy, is this a big one. Lot to do here. We're gonna get right back at it, though. We're gonna pick up right where we left off, right here, at the children of Andrew Mann and Elizabeth Ann Smith, right here on this stone. All right, let's see who we got. <coughs> we got John. Born December the 17th, 1886, and he died January the 12th, 18... No, he's born in 36 and died in 1850. Then we got Ann and Elza, born May the 5th, 1850, and died September the 11th, 1851. Rest in peace, little ones. Then we have Harriet, born April the 24th, 1889, and died June the 10th, 1850, I believe it says. And then we have an infant, uh, I think it says, something. Anyways, died in 1834 to 1834, rest in peace, little one. And then we have George, born August 20th, 1841, and died December the 4th, 1862. Then we have William, born September the 3rd, or 5th, 1835. And died January 22nd, 1865. And that's all that's, well, yeah, that's all that's on that stone. All right. Then we have Charles. He's the son of something A. Smith. Died maybe January the 11th, 18, looks like 32 to me. Then we have Annadale, or Anna, I mean Annadale on that one. I can't tell nothing about Anna Gale. And then we got John. He's the son of A&M and Ian A. Smith. Died January the 12th, 1850. Looks like he was 13 years and 26 days. Yeah, we'll get this one too. I can't really tell nothing on that one. There it is. All right. Then we have Jeanette, the wife of O and W. Mather, and the daughters of somebody. Anyways, they died November the 8th, 1849. And Geo, 31 years and a month. Oh, not Geo, age. Duh. Then we have, I'm telling you, these are hard to see. Then we have, I had no idea, try something. The wife of Kevin, I don't know what his name, last name is, I can't make it out. Died January the 20th, 1855, at 70 years, 11 months, and 26 days. Then we have Kevin Leonard. Okay, I can see it now. Died uh, December the 20th, 1849 at maybe 60, I don't know, 70 years. 70 years, six months, and six days. Whew, man, that was hard to see. Then he got this big old stone right here. And it's going to be Kevin Leonard died in December the 21st, 1849, and whatever that woman's name is, died January the 20th, 1853. Looks like she was 70 years, 11 months, and 26 days. And then we got Martha, somebody. The wife of H. Leonard died September the 19th, 1868. And Jesse died in something the 26th, 1888. That's the daughter of them on that one. Then we got, there's more. Then we got Harvey Leonard. Died July the 30th, 1911 at 88 years. 
I think there's even one more back here. Yeah, there's two more back here, I think. And I can't see the redos. There it is, guys. It's a Jeanette, I think. And that's the wife of somebody. Wow. A lot of people on that stone. All right. So we got that one. So we're up to this one. Then we got beloved sons of Helen and Leonard. So it's going to be the sons on here. Oh, I can't see that at all. They died in 1877. I do see that. That's the only thing I see. Ain't nothing on the back. But there is somebody here. There's Benjamin. All right. He died in 1878. So they lost one in 77 and one in 78. Is what it's saying. On that stone up there, guys. All right. And we'll move on. Oh, wow, that's a different one. I've never seen one like that. I'll show you in just in a second. We've got one more to get to before we get to it. And we got this one. Mary Ellen. And I can't tell when she died. Maybe 1852, April the 10th. I'm not sure. But look at this thing, guys. That is different. I have not seen nothing like that. That's Julia. She's the wife of John. Southworth. And this, she died, uh, it looks like September the 44. I mean, 1844. September the 1st, maybe. 1844 on that one. Is that not wild looking? I've not seen any like that one. That's pretty cool in a way. Wow. Ain't that neat? Huh. All right, we're done now. So right here's our next ones. I like how they got a little row in between so you can separate where you're at. So we're right to here. Joshua, Jay, Jalen, died February the 6th, 1851. It looks like maybe 30 years, seven months, and 19 days. Then we have Jane, the wife of Joshua J. died February the 13th, 1840. Two at 31 years, eight months, and three days. How do you like the way they write February? F E B Y. Instead of F E B like we do it here nowadays. Here's Joshua J. He died May the 1st, 1841. Uh, I can't tell how old he was. He was. There it is on that one. All right. Back in the shade, guys. Yeah. I like the shade, he's my friend. How about this cemetery be creepy at night? Anyways, here we go. This is, I have no idea on that one. There it is. Then we have, what? I'm not sure what that name is. They died in 18, looks like 43, April the 3rd. Then we got Julie. She died in, I want to say August the 22nd, 1846. On that one. I have no earthly idea on this one. But there it is. Then we got this one. I think that's Althea. She died in, it looks like, 18, maybe 71. On that one. And then we have, and all these dates, I tell you, is what I see. It may not be what it is, but that's what I see at the time when I read them. I can't tell on this one. There it is. All right. Then we have this one. Now it looks like they died in 1834, best I can tell. Oh, and I think I missed this one. This one actually has writing on it. Down here. They died in 1917, I believe, 
on that one. All right. And we've done that one right to here. I can't tell anything on that. And it looks like maybe I can tell that they died November the 28th, 18, maybe 93. I don't know. I'm holding it around the corner to see, so I don't know. I don't know what that says. I have no earthly idea. There it is. And I'm holding it back the best I can for you to see it. So, that's the only thing I see on that one. All right. Oh, we got, the, we done them. We done that one. We didn't do this one. So we're right to here. Oh, this one kind of went at an angle back to there. Okay. Can't see a thing on this one, guys. Not to the eye. I don't know if you can or not, but I can't. All right. Then we have this one. Really can't make out much on that one. There it is. Then we have this one. This has got a lot of people on it. Okay, on the top, there's somebody, WMC, died July 28th, 1821, or no, 24, had three years and eight months. You, Rich, or something like that, Junior, died December the 4th, 1829, at four months and 13 days. Samuel died in eight, August the 16th, 1836, at three years and seven months. And that's the children of U and B, Holly, Holly. On that side. Then we have Polly. She's the wife of you, Holly. And she died September the 18th. It says 1818 at 27 years. So I don't know. It does look like a very old cemetery, so it could be. And this one died in 1831. It's Bessie. That's his second wife. Okay. And he ain't on her. So there we go. All right. Then we have, I don't see a thing on that one, guys. Then we have Herman Arnold, 1817 to 1892. And then we have, last one in this little section, is going to be this stone right here. And we've got to move back some. And I can't tell who, anything about that. It's low to the ground, so I have to stand on my head to get it. And I'm gonna hit all the sides I see any writing. I'll let you see what I see. There's something right in there, but I can't really tell. All right, that ends this little tiny part. Now our next part's gonna be back a little more. I'm wondering if I'd have backed my car up out of everybody's way in case they pull in. I'm blocking the road right now. Hey, we're starting. If we need to, we'll move it in a minute. Oh, wow. Well, there's another one's going to be hard to see. This is John Dittman. Born. I had no earthly idea. March 25th, 1791. And died in... I can't see it enough to see it. Anyways, he died in March 26, 1878, I think. And Miranda, his wife, I can't tell where either one of them is born. She's born in New York. I can see on her, but I can't see where. Nigeria, or I think of something like that. Anyways, May the 16th, 1803, and died March 24th, 1887. That's what I'm seeing on her. See if they're the only ones on her. They are. All right. Well, that one's hard enough to see. All right, guys. Then we have this one. I don't know if we're going to be able to see a thing on it. Yeah, they're right in. Well, they're right in there, I believe. I wouldn't swear to nothing. I'm gonna go on around. Show you all sides. That's it, guys. That's the whole way around the thing. So I'm saying some of them are so impossible to read. 
bit. Here's our next guys. It's Demon. And it's going to be Harry M. 1875 to 1928. It's going to be Martin. 1843 to 1925. And it's going to be Elsie. 1852 to 1931. Alright. I guess I'll have to take this one by plots. There's a plot here and a plot next to it. Uh, hmm. Well, I don't know. That ain't that far in between there and there. We'll just go from there to there and bounce back and forth. Yeah. All right. So we started at the big one, and we'll go to that. That'll work. All right. Here we go. Trying to figure out how to go. W.N. Demon. Died February 28th, 1860. 34 years, and that's it. In the memory of our beloved Ann, uh, the daughter of Dr. W.M. and T.S. Ann Denman Parker, died August the 27th, 1879, at the age of 25 years, the wife of B.B. Burehands. Beer hand. Not beer hands, beer hand. Then we have Abigail Mornoff. Died January 31st, 1863, at 69 years, 3 months, and 10 days. Then we have. I don't have no idea. Anyways, they died in 8. Looks like February 7th, 18. Uh, 62 to me, but I wouldn't swear to it. I have no idea what that says. I can't even see it hardly. Then we have Elbert in Tats Taft, 1836 to 1906. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll come up to here. Okay, that looks good. That way it's a good stopping place if I need to stop. Then we have, ooh, I can't tell on that one, guys. Then we have Charles Blanchard. Looks like he might have died in 1860-something, maybe one. I don't know. Then we got Sally on this one. She's the wife of W.M. Blanch Blanchard. Died August 16th, 1877 at 80 years. I wish they was all like that where you could see it with no problem. And you got him, I guess. Died July the... No. February. Is it? No, August. The 2nd, 1884. At 87 years. Some of them you got to look at two or three times. You'll think it's one thing, it's another. <laughs> oh... And I got this one, and I'd say that's an Odie, but you can't tell. It's down in the ground. There it is. Then we have Abigail M. She's the daughter of S and P and A Van Wink, I think, Van Wink. Born August 20th, 1834. They got James. He was born January the 10th, or 16th, 1845. They don't tell when they die, it just says when they're born. Then they got a son here, then they got one in the front that says they when they die. He died in 1870 something, but I don't know what. Penelope, the wife of, or it might have been Penelope. Anyway, one of them did. And Kath Reen over here. Died August the 9th, 1849, at the age of 20 years. Rachel, the daughter, died June the 15th, 18, looks like 1830 on her. Rest in peace, little ones. All right. Then we have Katherine Kent, 
died April the 20th. It looks like 1835, but I wouldn't swear to it. Then you got Richard G. Ryder. Died September the 17th, 1864, at 84 years. Then we have, I have no earthly idea on that one. Then we have this cool looking stone right here. And right up hand, I don't see a date. But there it is. All right. Good looking stone, though, overall. Then we have, let's see where we're at. I want to fly over again like I did the last time. Oh, we got a few more minutes. We'll probably make it through this section. Here's our next one. Boy, it's a big, tall one. And it's going to be Lawrence is the last name. It's going to be Mark, the wife of, or no, not Mark, Mary, the wife of Brynn Lawrence. Died July the 2nd, 1903 at 84 years. I thought that was a newer looking stone. Then we have for friend Lawrence, born June the 4th, 1806, and died February the 16th, 1887. And they're the only ones that's on that big old stone right there, guys. All right. Then we have that with nothing on it. Then we got this cool looking stone right here. Good looking stone. It's missing a little top, though. It's got a round piece that goes on the top. Anyways, this is John. Uh, Chamberlain and he died December the 30th 1866 at 71 years and 7 months then you have I'm not sure Orf, Orfa or something like that the wife of Van Fleet Died January the 18th, 1881, at the age of 55 years and 7 months. Then we have, I believe that might be it. It is on that. Okay, fine. We'll move on. Then we have Shafter. We have Christopher S. Shafter. He was born July the 4th, 1828. And he died May the 9th, 1911. Mary J, his wife, was born July the 17th, 1830, and she died April the 18th, 1924. Then we have Graves on this stone right there. That's a cool looking stone. And that's going to be M.L. Graves. And he died October the 19th, 1890, at 78 years, two months, and seven days. Now let's see if there's anybody else on there. There is, it's gonna be Jane. And Jane died in 1887, December the 8th. She was 74 years, and that's about all I can tell. Anyways, there it is. All right. Then we have, Hanny, Hanny? Or something like Hannah. Anyways, they died October the 18th, 1864. That's all I can tell. Then we have Martha. She's the wife of Daniel Grover. Died May the 12th, 1881, at 51 years. Then you got Daniel. Looks like he died in, I'm not sure. He's on that one right there, though. Then you got Florence V. Moore, and that's all it says. And I believe that goes to that stone right here. It says more. So let's see if any of these others got a date. They do. We have Florence. Moore uh, Blanchard. 1851 to 1921. We have Isaac Moore. 1815 to 1895. And we have Sylvia Moore. 1819 to 1894. They went to that stone right there. Then we got foot a foot we have mary rockwell 1854 to 1928 and we got a, these stones i believe go with that that's a footstone and we got 
Grain or crane? Crane. Anyways, I can't see nothing on that. There it is. Just like here, I can't see nothing here. I can see if someone died in 1865. That's all I can tell. Someone here died in 18. Looks like 91 maybe on that one. And then there's someone maybe at the bottom. I don't know. I can't really tell. Huh. Hard to see them. This one died in 1866. March the 20th. On that one. Alright. Then we have Olivia Hart, 1851 to 1909. Then we have these two sitting over here by the cell. Abigail Wilbur, 1828 to 1870. And T.G. Wilbur, 1825 to 1887 on that right there all right and then we have I'll get that when I get down there we got weeks and it's a plot they own they own a pretty good pretty good plot anyways it belongs to the week family and they're all on this stone right here it's gonna be Thomas it's a big stone too Thomas T week weeks Died March the 8th, 1885, at 86 years. Mary Hogan, his first wife, died May the 3rd, 1833, at 37. Free Love, no. Yeah, Free Love, Thorn, Flower, his second wife, died August the 3rd, 3rd 1866, at 61 years. Elizabeth, the daughter of T&T &T and M and H Weeks, Died December the 20th, 1878, at 51 years. Sarah, the daughter of H and F Flower, died November the 17th, 1888, at 55 years. And Margaret, the daughter of T and T and F Weeks, died November 22nd, 1846, to June the 6th, 1899. So they died in 1899. Then we have Martha, the daughter of T and T F Weeks, died May the 3rd, 1844. I mean, that's when they were born. Then they died June the 4th, 1915. Then we got Emma, the daughter of T&T &T and F. Weeks. March the 9th, 1850 to October 21st, 1911. Then we have Henry, the son of T&T and, T and M. Weeks. Died May the 16th, 1912 at 81 years. And Lewis... No, Lois. Lois J., the daughter of Thomas and Armanda, I think. And I don't know, can't tell what their last name is. And the wife of H.H. H. Weeks, is what it all says. All on that stone right there. Then we got Frank Edgar Weeks, 1857 to 1946. And Cynthia Judson Weeks. 1858 to 1947. Then we have two more stones, I believe, in this pot. Oh, that's nice. Our Hattie. Ain't that pretty. Look at that, guys. That's one of the biggest one of them I think I've seen. No, I take that back. I seen one at that school at the time. I can't remember the name of that cemetery where I had to walk through the school to get to it. <sighs> Then we have, I can't see what it says. They died maybe in 1868. Then we have 1841 to 1927 on, I don't know, I can't really see it. I do see Henry, 1831 to 1912. And they all went to the weeks. It's a plot. All right. Then we have, I think we got to get that one. I think we've done it, Elizabeth. Yeah, we did. Didn't we? I'm not sure. Anyways, we have Cortland, the son of P and G and M and B, 
acres. Died May the 19th. It looks like 1870. At 23 years, 9 months, 10 days. Then George died in 1882, April the 8th. At 22 years, 11 months, and 16 days. Then we have Newton. He was a son of P and G and M and B anchors or acres. Died November the 15th, 1871, at 29 years, 11 months. Ellen, their daughter, died February the 11th, 1875, at 20 years, 3 months, and 21 days. Then we got more. Wow. Then we have Howard. He died. He's the son, too. Died October the 7th, 1860, at 18 years, 4 months, and 17 days. Oh, there's more. No, that's his wife here. Died in 18, looks like 1864. And I can't tell on the bottom who that is. So in other words, he lost one. They lost one. Two. Two. Three. Four. And five. Five children. On a stone right there. Wow. Wow, that is something. Mm. Then we got Boozer. Rachel, born November the 21st, 1828, and died January 24th, 1901. We have Catherine. She's the wife of Reverend John Boozer. Died August the 15th, 1865. It looks like 73 years, 11 months, and 16 days. And this is John himself. And it looks like he died in 1851, but I wouldn't swear to it. On him. And I can't tell how old he was. All right. So now we have to catch these in between this plot. Okay, then we got Anna. She's the wife of G. Wilson. Died December 28th, 1835. 70 years, 3 months, and 16 days. And I don't know what that is for. I have no idea. Then we got James Bland, uh, Bland, Blandon. And then Caroline Blandon. That's how it says. All right, then we have, I've done that one, I remember doing it. Then we're up to Harriet, bird sale, 1881 to 1955 on that one. Then we have this one, and I cannot tell a thing on it, but I'll hold it there for a second let you 